Hi guys, I'm making a, a little short instructional video today because of the project that I'm starting, having so many steps, and even if we um, filmed a little bit and then put it all together, it would end up being hours. So we don't want that, do we? I mean, they, they're long enough as it is just because I forget I don't have a clock in front of me and I start talking. So my plan is I have these children's aprons that I get at Hobby Lobby and they're usually $3.99. I got these on sale. I got red, blue, and white. And I'm gonna go back for green. I don't know how I forgot to get green. But um, they're cute little things. They fit kids you know, really up to about four. I mean, you can start with a little one and use it like as a bib and then go on up to like a four or five year old depending on their height. And they have cute little pockets so they could put, they can use it for cra for uh, their crafting or coloring or whatever. I like to make them at Easter time and I make them real messy. I splash colors on them uh, so it looks like Easter eggs. Uh, die and uh, do like a bunny or something but these are going to have lots of different Santas on them so I have some material that I found got candy I've got penguins and Santa and snowman and then I have just snowman and women so what you do, and what I've done so far, is you take this heat bond paper. And one side is sticky, and one side is paper. And here's the package. I got this at Walmart. It's not where you think it would be. It's not with um, the different uh, linings that are in bolts. It's actually on... Um, an aisle or so before that hanging up in a long package this long package okay so you cut out the amount you need and you have to be careful you don't want to get this on your iron and you put the paper side down on your um, thing here now I haven't I did not hit this when I ironed I was very careful um, but you're going to iron that down until it's stiff. I think it's like two seconds each spot. Let it cool before you pick it up because it'll pop loose. And then when you're ready to put it on your apron, you've got to cut them out. And I just did one this morning for you to get an idea that was out of the Santa Claus with all the other. And you can cut out just the packages or just the uh, penguins or the snowman or the trees and get very creative put them all over and then what I do is I iron them down where I want them on my apron then I sew around them I zigzag around them because I want it to last a long time I told you before that I had one for like 22 years and I, it's just my weight gain after my chemo, steroids, and thyroid that I couldn't, I couldn't wear it anymore. It was way too tight. But it was still looking fine after 20-some years and me wearing it all winter. Nick and I had matching ones. He, I made it when he was like three. And uh, so we had matching uh, sweatshirts. But uh, once I zigzag it... Um, then I have all kinds of puff paints and uh, regular fabric paints and I, I um, highlight different areas. I have paints with glitter in it and um, so you, you can get really creative and they're a lot of fun. So all I'm showing you for today is what I've just done is the uh, things you need, the material, 
and I got the material at uh, Hobby Lobby. I got the aprons at Hobby Lobby and the material was on sale, 40% off. So I think I got like, oh my gosh, like three yards total um, for six dollars and pennies. And then the heat bond paper, and that's actually the name, Ultra Hold Heat Bond. Let me straighten it out for the camera. That's at Walmart. So, and I don't remember what that cost. It was just a couple of dollars or something. So, and when you're doing tight spaces, little bitty Fiskars come in handy. And remember, I think Fiskars are the best. I know there's some more expensive ones, but you know, the best thing you can do is to buy these, hide these, because I've gone through many pair after Jim would do something like cut a piece of tile with them and then they don't want to cut nice and crisp anymore. So that's it for today. Diane from Villarica. And uh, today's our 50th wedding anniversary. We're having lobster and all kinds of uh, seafood stuff. Thanks to uh, our oldest son in Maryland who sent everything overnight. Nice and fresh and yummy for us. So we're going to have a feast and... Uh, celebrate our 50th wedding anniversary so but you guys be good stay warm stay cool stay safe wear your mask okay bye bye